follows one of the worst tragedies in Connecticut state history, the collapse of L'Ambiance Plaza in Bridgeport 35 years ago tomorrow. News 12 Connecticut's Mark Sudall spoke to one family that is still living with this every day. Today we remember the 28 construction workers who lost their lives in the L'Ambiance Plaza collapse in the hopes that something like this will never happen again. That was a terrible, terrible, tragic day. Today, and for 35 years now, people have come together in Bridgeport to make sure we never forget. There should be no reason why any man, woman, go to work in the morning and not come home. That tragedy was preventable. April 23rd, 1987, seven completed floors of the L'Ambiance Plaza toppled inward, crumbling in a debris and dust. I saw in disbelief the monstrous, twisted, horrible pile of concrete and steel. The construction method used called lift slab has since been banned. Out of that tragedy came unity. Unity for one thing, workers' safety. Today, like every year, a memorial wreath has carried a short walk to the memorial site where bells ring for each of the 28 victims. Jared McGill. My father, he was there to deliver um, paychecks to the guys. He was literally on the way out of the lobby, and he got blown back in with the collapse. And the Paula Gill and her sister, Patty Charette, lost their father in this tragedy. We all just miss him very much, and um, he was a great guy, and we, we loved him dearly, and we come here every year. We've been here even during COVID. Now all these families have are memories. A year and a half after the collapse, the victims' families, contractors, and subcontractors were all awarded a $41 million settlement. In Bridgeport, Mark Sudol, News 12 Connecticut. Investigators reported the actions and negligence of numerous parties that contributed to that collapse.